with the supersonic speed. This was a technology. But later on, what we did is air to air, surface to surface, then land to air, air to air, and air to any other target. Mm. Uh, from the aircraft also you can hit the thing. Mm. So all these concepts, you know, was transformed the BrahMos missile into something else. See, you can give it to the army, you can give it to the air force, and you can also give it to the navy. And we also had the underground, uh, underwater launch that is called, you know, which uh, even Russians never dreamt. Okay. That is, you store it under the water, mm -hmm. and the missile will come out out of the water. Okay. This is the uniqueness of the pillage design. Okay. And uh, one disadvantage we even now we feel that the missile is little bulky. That is why when you are saying, you know, there is new generation. NG is nothing but BrahMos new generation. Mm -hmm. New generation will be little more sleeker. Like, you know, how you are modifying the bikes for its uh, high precision and all. You can also modify the missile and make it more sleek so that it is fitted to the Air Force. And the aircrafts can carry at least three BrahMos missiles. Okay. Now at present, only one is being okay. taken. Okay. That is the story of the BrahMos. And uh, our contribution in the missile technology, I am just talking about my contribution. Mm -hmm. See, all the missiles in the earlier days was having only the outer frames made up of titanium or aluminium mm -hmm. and it was only the mechanical fastening. But uh, as a, when I came into the BrahMos in 2001, I was the first guy to joined the BrahMos in 2001. I took up the actually administrative thing. Basically, I was on the administration side. Then later on, I switched into the chemistry side. Okay. When I went to, to look into the chemistry, that time no one was aware that, you know, so much of chemistry is involved. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we started reading the documents, we came to know that there is a lot of chemistry in this. Then I told, sir, there is a to one of my boss at the time, his name is LHS Rao, I still tell him, mm. Sir, there is nearly 185 chemicals which are going into our missile. Okay. What he said was, mm. what an idiot you are, there is not a single chemical in any of our missile programs mm. and you are telling 185 there is something wrong with your mindset. Okay. Then I have to show him, okay. all these chemicals are there. I think when I am looking at it, there are 185 chemicals going into this and uh, this is something unique. Mm. It is not like any other missile story. Mm. And there is a lot of learning in this. And uh, that exactly happened after a year or so. Okay. When the consignment started arriving, mm. people went blank by looking so many fabrics, so many tapes mm -hmm. and uh, so many epoxy chemicals, so much of uh, asbestos fillers. Mm. and even graphite to graphite and even bitumen okay. to be precise bitumen we thought you know it is a dumber dumber we yeah. used to say you know that is a recycled material which can be thrown out uh -huh. that material is also used in our missile technology okay. the wrong part of that is people never knew how to use them 